नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण रिज्यूमनेटिंग टेक्स्ट वन एंड टेक्स्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्सटीन प्रेज ऑफ किंग पृथ्वी बाय द प्रोफेशनल रिसाइटर्स ऑफ फोर्थ कैंटो द क्रिएशन ऑफ द फोर्थ ऑर्डर ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स्ट वन मैत्रेय वाच indicates instructions received from great sages and saintly persons although maharaj prithu was simply enthroned on the royal seat and was not at that time exhibiting his godly powers the reciters like the sut the magadha and the vandi understood that king prithu was an incarnation of god they could understand this by the instructions given by the great sages and learned brahmanas we have to understand the incarnations of god by the instructions of authorized persons we cannot manufacture a god by our own concoctions as stated by narottam das thakur sadhu shastra guru one has to test all spiritual matters according to the instructions of saintly persons scriptures and the spiritual master the spiritual master is one who follows the instructions of his predecessors namely the sadhus or saintly persons a bona fide spiritual master does not mention anything not mentioned in the authorized scriptures ordinary people have to follow the instructions of sadhu shastra and guru those statements made in the shastras and those made by the bona fide sadhu or guru cannot differ from one another reciters like the sut and the magadha were confidentially aware that king prithu was an incarnation of the personality of godhead although the king denied such praise because he was not at that time exhibiting his godly qualities the reciters did not stop praising him rather they were very pleased with the king who although actually an incarnation of god was so humble and delightful in his dealings with devotees in this connection we may note that previously 4.15.21 it was mentioned that king prithu was smiling and was in a pleasant mood while speaking to the reciters thus we have to learn from the lord or his incarnation how to become gentle and humble the king's behavior was so pleasing to the reciters and consequently the reciters continued their praise and even foretold the king's future activities as they had been instructed by the sadhus and sages text 2 nalam vayam te mahi manu varnane yo dev varyo avtatar mayaya ve nanga jatasya cha paurushani te वाचस्पति नाम पी बुर्टर्स कंटिन्यू डियर किंग यू आर अ डायरेक्ट इनकार्नेशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड वाइज कॉजलेस मर्सी यू हैव डिसेंडेड ऑन दिस अर्थ देर फॉर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अस टू एक्चुअली ग्लोरीफाई योर एक्साइटेड एक्टिविटीज ऑल दो यू हैव अपियर थ्रू द बॉडी ऑफ किंग वेन इवन ग्रेट ओरेटर्स एंड स्पीकर लाइक लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा एंड अदर डेनी गॉड्स cannot exactly describe the glorious activities of your lordship in this verse the word mayaya means by your causeless mercy the mayavadi philosophers explain the word maya as meaning illusion or falseness however there is another meaning of maya that is causeless mercy there are two kinds of maya yoga maya and maha maya maha maya is an expansion of yoga maya and both these mayas are different expressions of the lord's internal potencies As stated in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord appears through His internal potencies, Atma Maya. We should therefore reject the Maya body explanation that the Lord appears in a body given by the external potency, the material energy. The Lord and His incarnation are fully independent and can appear anywhere and everywhere by virtue of the internal potency. Although born out of the so-called dead body of King Vain, King Prithu was still an incarnation of the supreme personality of Godhead by the Lord's internal potency. The Lord can appear in any family. Sometimes he appears as a fish incarnation, matsya avatar, or a boar incarnation, varaha avatar. Thus, the Lord is completely free and independent to appear anywhere and everywhere by His internal potency. It is stated that Ananta incarnation of the Lord, who has unlimited mouths, cannot reach the end of His glorification of the Lord. Although Ananta has been describing the Lord since time immemorial. So, what to speak of demigods like Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and others? It is said that the Lord is 
Shiv Virinchi Nutam, always worshipped by demigods like Lord Shiv and Lord Brahma. If the demigods cannot find adequate language to glorify the activities of the Lord, then what to speak of others? Consequently, recitals like the Sut and Magadha felt inadequate to speak about King Prithu. By glorifying the Lord with exalted verses, one becomes purified. Although we are unable to offer prayers to the Lord in an adequate fashion, our duty is to make the attempt in order to purify ourselves. It is not that we should stop our glorification because demigods like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiv cannot adequately glorify the Lord. Rather, as stated by Prahlad Maharaj, everyone should glorify the Lord according to his own ability. If we are serious and sincere devotees, the Lord will give us the intelligence to offer prayers properly. Hare Krishna.